Now, speaking of worldview at the level of public policy, uh, I, I believe that it's our current administration's desire to foster democracies uh, in the Middle East and in the rest of the world, and maybe Bernard Lewis has been a factor in, in driving that kind of thinking. In your view, is that a sound strategy, and uh, do you feel that there are implications in following that strategy for the Great Commission, for the reach of the gospel? Yeah, without any question I do. Uh, I think the, the strategy being uh, adopted by the Bush administration is probably the most moralistic, moralistic foreign policy this country has embraced uh, since World War II. Uh, it is committed to the propagation of freedom. And you'll notice that George Bush in many times says, Freedom is a God-given right. He's echoing the words of Jefferson in the Declaration of Independence. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men are created equal and endowed by the created with certain inalienable rights. So we really are, we're saying that the answer to Islam is democracy. Because as long as Islam is a closed society, as long as they don't know what's going on in the West and other parts of the world, as long as uh, it's repressive and women have no rights and people can't vote, uh, there are always going to be hotbeds for resentment, anger, and terror. And so Bush's strategy is very simple. It comes directly from Bernard Lewis's writings and briefings he's done at the White House. And this 85-year-old Jew, brilliant man, uh, is really giving extraordinary advice to this country right now if we listen to him. What he is saying is the only way you're going to defuse defang uh, radical Islamofascism is by democracy. Mm. Now, the big question is, is it possible? Uh, it's, it's noble, it's a noble ideal, but can you do it? Well, one question is, do the American people have the, the will and the stomach uh, to engage in what very likely could take us 10 years? Mm. Uh, we're so impatient. We watch today's television, we want instant answers, mm. instant gratification. But this is a long haul. This is going to be a big battle. But it's working. People in Afghanistan, 9 million of them mm. voted. People in Iraq voted. They dipped their finger in ink and held their finger up, which was the mark of Cain. They could be killed for that. Libya th surrendered its nuclear stockpile. Iran is shaky because it's got democracies emerging mm. in, on both sides. Uh, Egypt had allowed a, an election, even though they rigged the results, at least there's the seeds of democracy starting. Saudi Arabia has had local elections. I think democracy is the wave of the future because it is God's way of best assuring the freedom of individuals. That doesn't mean it's biblical, it isn't, but it is in practical terms the way in which God's freedom can be best assured. And so I think it is the wave of the future and if we have the will to stick with it, I think this of the radical Islamists.